Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we finally made our way into the Corvega Auto Plant. And honestly, we've done pretty well so far. Um, I've taken a look at all of your comments as I do every episode, and uh, I've tried to decide exactly what I wanted to do. First thing I did, which you're not going to be able to tell, unfortunately, because I moved all the stuff, was uh, I marked a bunch of stuff for uh, in component view. You, you have to do it whenever you're in the junk menu, but I gave all my junk to Codsworth so I could carry stuff, but I did that because um, I had done it on a workbench, and to be honest, when you do it on a workbench, you can only tag stuff that you're missing completely. It had never occurred to me that you can come into the junk on the Pip-Boy and just mark exactly what you want, so that was super helpful, and I took care of that. Uh, I also zoomed back into the Pip-Boy because for some odd reason it had zoomed out. Uh, so that's fixed. Now, I do have a level up, and I've been trying to decide exactly what I wanted to do with it. Um, some of you guys have recommended some perks. There's some people that said I should really take Scrapper. Um, someone else had recommended that I take uh, the Rifleman, because it allows your rifles to do 20% more damage. Um, the problem with Scrapper, and I'm not opposed to getting Scrapper, but I'm going to have to put another point into Intelligence before I can get to Scrapper. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Um, but I was actually thinking of doing something else. And that was Gunslinger. And the reason I think that is because I actually really like pistols. Anyone who has seen me do any other Let's Plays of First Person Shooters knows that I am a huge fan of pistols. And given the chance, I will usually continue to use pistols and shotguns throughout the entire game. In Grit's case, I'm going to be using a lot of rifles as well. But I have a feeling that pistols are going to stick around. So, I know that, you know, the perks are very valuable and we want to hold on to them and, and use them for, for something. But I think I'm going to actually go ahead and use this for... Gunslinger. So 20% more damage. Baby was doing 27 points, so now Baby does 32. So that is a, uh, a moderate increase that, you know, after you're shooting someone for a few times, it's going to make a big difference. So uh, that's going to help with the uh, auto plant a little bit, because we're probably going to be using Baby for uh, a good portion of it. Now let's get Baby back out and decide what we want to do. Now I don't know how big this place is. But uh, we went in here and there's some guys we shot up in here. We can also go upstairs. There's also a functioning elevator, unlike the one we saw at Slocum Joe's. So, got to decide exactly what we want to do. We're not locking on to anyone here. I've read from your comments that we should really be careful about spotlights because we're probably going to be running into some spotlights at some point. We're under caution. Getting worse. Oh, God! Codsworth, can you take care of that or no? I know someone who can. Hold on, buddy. Okay, come on. I'm not gonna use another bullet, just shoot it. Or I will. Good job, Codsworth, you did it! Alright, so now we're hidden again. Uh, at least... for this second. What else we got? Metal bucket, pack of cigarettes, chilling in the back there. Excuse me. Bottle cap, stim pack, yeah. If I bought a pistol, anything of use in here? Probably not. Not anything I really care about. No, I think I'm gonna leave their guns. Uh, these things are long destroyed. <laughs> a coffee cup, yes! Coffee cup might be ceramic, I don't know. Once again, I know that I can check it. Don't worry, light bulb. See, I've marked a lot of components, so there's going to be a lot of magnifying glasses showing up on stuff now. Uh, cigarette machine. Corvega storage key. Oh my god, from the raiders that we killed a million years ago in, uh, right in front of the museum? Really? That's sweet. Okay, cool, yeah, let's do it. Well, dang, that worked out. Explosive, okay. But once we're in, we have to actually unlock some stuff. Let's get this sucker open. To the right? Nope. To the left. Left to the left. Less to the left, I mean. Alright, got that open. Fragmentation grenade, Molotov cocktail. Uh, Molotov cocktail. Short pipe bolt. Act empty blood sack. Eh, let's take it. Uh, this thing does me no, no particular good. I might take it. I, I can hold a lot of stuff because I gave Codsworth a lot of stuff, so maybe I'll take it for now. Fusion cell. Rounds. More rounds. Uh, I also don't think we are using any pipe weapons right now, so we don't have any way to actually use up our 308 ammo. So we'll probably want to construct something that uses that. Also, that thing exploded. 
Take some of that junk. Gristle's Terminal. Oh, I love me some terminals. It usually means some lore. Caravan. Took down another caravan today. Hell yeah, that makes three in one month. To top it off, Freddy came by with the good news that another caravan is headed our way. Says he spotted some guards, but it's mostly civilians. They even got an old broad dressed like a fortune teller and some joker in a cowboy hat. Gonna ask Jared for more men to take this caravan down. That fucking hat is mine. So this must have been Preston. Because uh, that would have been the joker in the cowboy hat, and fortune teller is probably Mama Murphy. Interesting. Database network access is granted to authorized personnel only. Okay. So we can't do anything there. We got to at least see a, a little bit, um, a little bit of lore there. Alright, let's continue out here. There's gonna be some turrets, but to be honest, the turrets, from what I've seen so far, are not a big deal. Coolant cap. Well, this has got some sort of component that we want. I don't know exactly what it is. But we're gonna grab them because it's something... I've only marked stuff that I considered, you know, hard to get, rare, etc. So it must have been something at least semi-valuable. Alright, so let's, uh, let's head up these stairs. We're gonna have to try and make a mental map of where everything is. Short pipe rifle. Mute fruit. Vegetable starch. Yeah! Don't need your other stuff. Really not interested in, uh, in the armor. Unless it is, you know, in some way better than mine. Okay, this is a new room, so I gotta be careful here. Hey, you got a second? Everything all right? Hear someone talking. But we're not close enough to get, uh... Not close enough to get subtitles on their conversation, though. And there's a searchlight here. That thing actually might count as a searchlight, too. I think the first thing we're gonna do... Let's take this one out. Surprise, honey! Are you gonna find me, though? That's- that's really the- the question here. Nothing. Really? Nothing? You gave up so soon? He walked away. I'm pretty sure I don't even need a headshot when I'm hitting the 2.5 damage multiplier that I'm getting. <laughs> it's probably not a really- not really a, a concern at all. Um, the spotlights are- are problematic, though. I swear I heard someone. <laughs> How is Codsworth down there? Codsworth. Codsworth, stay down there. Codsworth. Or don't. Also, it would have been funny if that, like, somehow wasn't Codsworth. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? End of the line. Nobody here. Oh, I can't shoot this one? Oh, that one, that one's just for show, apparently. Oh, hey. Codsworth, kill that dude. Try the head, shall we? <laughs> Grit Jones needs one shot, my friend. He's also using an incredibly powerful pistol that just got upgraded from, uh, from the perk that he took. There are more people around for sure. I saw another red dot on my radar. I'll go check it out shortly. Pipe stove. Blah, blah, blah. Once again, taking all of these coolant caps because supposedly they'll help me. Uh, do 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 nothing in the cabinet. This room looks like it's... Oh! Danger! You think so? Try it again, buddy. Nope. There we go, good job. I had a few people tell me I should, uh, I should use vats more. And I should. I really should. Um, and I don't mind, I don't mind using it whenever it's, uh, a 50-50 chance. It seems pretty reasonable to me, especially if you get multiple shots. Really, another reason not to use it. TV dinner tray, yeah, aluminum! <laughs> Grit Jones getting real excited about aluminum as he walks through and kills these people. Oh man, aluminum, I can build a door! That's great! Uh, this has got a plus on it, but it's just for the radiation safety. Don't want that. Still relatively hidden. Shotgun shells, don't want your other crap. Someone else died over here. Pipe pistol. I'm good. Um, I, I like getting the sneak damage, so I'm, I'm gonna continue to sneak around, but I'm probably gonna speed up my movement a little bit. Just because, honestly, I'm doing fine. Anything in the corner here? Who opened that door? 
Codsworth, did you open that door? Codsworth. Um, yeah, I could do that. Or I could just do this. Kabloom! <laughs> no one was ever here. Actually, screw it. Uh, give me, give me baby. I'm almost, I'm almost out of caution again. Oh, here comes someone. I'm hidden again. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's great. All right, uh, give me this thing. It's another one gone. They're falling like flies, I tells you. Someone's over there. Oh, I know you're here. <sighs> Not coming cl uh, close enough. Now, I gotta be careful in the big areas. I've gotten a lot of comments telling me that there's a lot of things I need to be worried about, particularly the spotlights and the turrets. Well, Codsworth's taking action, baby. Got that one. Yeah, there's definitely a turret or something over there. I assume that's a turret? I can't seem to hit it through the fence. Woo! That's one shot! Oh, come on now! Takes care of that. Let's go ahead and uh, eat some... <laughs> Some gross red roach something. There we go. Okay, um, just gonna kind of walk around freely at this point. Uh, took out most of the guys in here. I'm worried I'm gonna miss something in this place, because this place is ridiculously huge. I not only know that from your comments, but Mal... Mal started playing Fallout 4, and she's already been through this place, and she's already given me, like, her war stories, and she, I know that she was in here for a long time. Uh, so I'm gonna try to make a little quicker work. I'm, I'm having an easier time than she did, though. From, uh, some of your comments, it sounds like the power plant gave you a little trouble. But things are going pretty well for me right now. Cause I'm taking all the hot plates. Gas canisters. Tin can. Oh, yeah. Enamel. Enamel bucket. I don't know what that is. Let's take that. Kitchen scale. Drinking glass, tin can, beaker, research test, that's just glass, I'm just taking everything. Chair. You don't have anything I need. Alright. No, you don't! Woo! Still hear noises. I think it's this thing moving in the- which is really frightening. A shot glass. So that was scary. Um, I was like, man, why is the hidden thing going down? Why am I becoming less hidden? And, uh, then I found out, and it was frightening. Alright, give me this stuff. Anything else? Alright, no, we're good. I'm gonna stand up. Move. Move. Is there anything over here? I grabbed this guy. The other thing I gotta remember to do is, is check my map, because that's- I'm probably gonna need it in here. So if we do this and do local map, it'll actually give us a layout of the place. It looks like we're not missing anything in here. It'll also show us where the doors are. Which we're probably gonna need to keep track of. Alright. Doing good here. There was a way to go over this way. I say we go this way. As they open towards us. This might actually lead to where we were before. Almost pause. Yeah, this is where we were before. Alright, cool. Feeling- feeling good. Feeling really good then. Um, cause we started going that way and I think we- I think we look- I'm gonna double check quick, but I think we looked at everything we needed to look at over here? Or did we only- Oh wait, we went that way and not this way. Uh, okay. Oh, this one we gotta unlock. I think we'll go up this way and then we'll return to where the elevator was and head from, uh... Head up the stairs from there. It probably all connects some way or another. That's it. But things are going pretty well right now, so I can't complain. Sometimes I hear someone talking, I'm not sure if it's Codsworth or not. Don't see anybody. Yeah, there's a few ways we can go. We can go that way. Or we can go this way. There's searchlights in this area, so we gotta be careful. Uh, I got some Abraxo cleaner. That goes to the Commonwealth. That's interesting. I'm gonna keep that door in mind, but I'm gonna keep looking around here for now. 
There's a searchlight somewhere. Is that it? it? Must be it. Not anymore, it's not. Let's be careful, Codsworth. They're all below us. There's gotta be an... Yeah, there's another one. I'm trying to figure out what the other one is. You, sir. Codsworth, I almost shot you. Be careful, man. I probably... I don't think I can hurt Codsworth. Like, I could probably hurt him, but I don't think he would ever turn on me or anything. At least I... <laughs> at least I hope not. Where are you guys at? I know you're down here. Will Vats give you away? Vats won't! Oh, here we go. Here we go. They've got some sort of little... ...settlement or something in here. They might be sleeping in here. Yep. That is precisely it. I'm in danger. Get him! Get him, Codsworth! Man, they didn't even know I hit him. And we're hidden again, so they're all dead. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see. Uh, nope. Nope. Nope, we're good. Should I take this? I guess I can carry it. All right. I don't know how much of this place is left, but I think we're doing all right. We'll probably get out of here this episode for sure. Uh, straw pillow. Uh, can I oh, bottle cap mine. Thank you very much. Wow. That guy's head is where his knee should be. That seems really problematic. You may want to get that looked at, buddy. If it weren't for the fact that you were long dead. Uh, nothing over here. We're looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. Bam, Applebee's would be proud. If there's anything up here. I also don't see any more spotlights. That's the thing. There's some people in the comments that said these things made a lot of noise and that I should kill them. And that takes care of that. They're like, um, motion sensors. Which is, uh, actually really neat. Um, and I think we saw one, like, as soon as we walked into the Corvega plant. But it never went off. We'd approached it stealthily and it never went off, so things were fine. Boom, boom. Uh, nope. Don't really need any of these things. This pipe revolver actually takes 45 ammo. Um, which we all need. At some point, we'll, we'll have to come up with a way. Is that you, Codsworth? Hard to tell sometimes. Also, is this somewhere I can go? Oh, it is. Dang, so there's a few places out into the Commonwealth. We should really check these things out. Um, nothing else over here. Uh, yeah, eventually I would actually like to... Um, have some sort of gun that will use each type of ammo. I think that would be best. Also, I don't know if all of these places meet up outside, so we should probably check them out individually. Kind of expecting further resistance outside. Although, also, we killed a lot of people? So maybe not. Hello. You're for looking. Um, you've also told me that there is apparently a bobblehead. I think the rip Hair bobblehead uh, is here, and it's at the top. So we gotta figure out how to get up to the top. Uh, there we are. The repair bobblehead. Nice. Why go down with the ship when you can try to fix it? Fusion cores permanently last 10% longer. Very cool. We also have a tool case with some stuff in it. Can carry it, so I'll take it. Uh, I think also someone said that there's a comic somewhere, but I think it's inside, not outside. I eventually found my way back to where I was. And as long as I'm hidden, I think I'm actually going to take a quick hour sleep just so I can get my health back up. Uh, there was a point where I jumped um, in order to save some time. And uh, in the process, I took a little damage, but things are well now. All right, so let's see here. Um, what we needed to do was check this other side. Uh, there was a door over here that we haven't went into. And this actually also leads outside. So, did we do it? We haven't been through whatever that thing is. 
this little tunnel thing, so we can at least walk through this, but... Shoot, I think we... I think we... I think we did it. Uh, I don't really know if there's anything else left to, to do or get here. I thought the Corvega Auto Plant was a lot bigger than... than this. Oh, we haven't went upstairs in that one part next to the, um... Uh... the elevator. That's something we can do, and, and the elevator might take us to a place that we haven't seen before, admittedly. But everything else, uh, looks like we kind of did it. Is anyone in here? See, this place is kind of interesting. Let me turn the light on. Got the green tint because I'm using a green, um, color on my pit boy. I'm okay with that. A dog bowl. Maybe they had pets. Got some shotgun shells, which I'll gladly take. Uh, got some stuff in the toolbox I can grab. This thing's kind of neat. Uh, otherwise, it's just a bunch of junk. Okay, well, um... Fine. <laughs> I think we've... I think we've cleared this place out, guys. I don't think there's really, uh, anything else... ...at this point worth grabbing. We're gonna go, uh, back and explore that part that we saw, um... Uh, ...right at the beginning of the episode. Alright, back where we started near to the, uh, elevator. We're gonna head up and see if there's anything else... ...of note here. Uh, not even sneaking at this point, because I don't know who's left... ...but they're probably not a big enough threat to take me down. Oh my god, a cat bowl! I haven't seen that yet. I've seen a lot of dog bowls, but not a cat bowl. That's cool. I'll admit... Fridge door... Nothing in the fridge. Pack of cigarettes. Uh, alright. Excuse me, Codsworth. Going up a little bit further here. I think the sad thing is if we find someone... Like, everyone that they've known is gonna be dead. Oh, wait! Oh! <gasps> we did it! There is another part to this. Man, it sucks for them. We're under caution. Kill the raiders at- Oh, was that the last one? That's what- That was the deciding factor? No, there's still someone else here. Guy in a- In something. Maybe power armor, or just some weird looking armor in general. But apparently that's all it took to- For it to say, yeah, you killed them all. But there's still some guys, we're gonna take them out in this episode, so that's, uh, all finished up. You're just gonna pace? Because that's gonna be your undoing. That guy's dead. Alright, so there's still, like, one or two guys left in here. I think some of them, however, are turrets. And we may be able to control the turrets or the spotlight from this terminal, which would be nice. Just have to unlock it. Unite! Could be alive. It is alive. Great. Protect on control. Here we go. This interface should be used by blah 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 blah. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, choose personality mode, activate units. Default. Subway steward, law enforcement, fire brigadier, uh, medical responder, and construction worker. That's interesting. Um... I- I actually don't know what all of these do. Law enforcement? He may actually try to kill me on law enforcement, right? Medical responder? Maybe he would give us free stuff. Once again, never actually use the, um, the things in this game, so I don't actually know what they do, but I'm gonna turn that on. And then activate the unit. Yeah, I know, I know. Activate units. Okay. Cool, we did it. So, this is now a... ...helpful... ...protectron. He's, uh, whatever. No, honey! Wow, <laughs> just one shot from across the room. And he's dead. I don't like you, Spotlight. Okay, so that thing... ...exploded and is also now an enemy? I'm not exactly sure what happened. I think it got shot by the turret and, ex and its legs got crippled. And then Codsworth turned on it real quick. But whatever, we get some free stuff out of it, so I guess it's fine. Uh, alright, so there's two turrets that I can see. Let's take out this one. That's one sneak attack on that one. And then also... Oh, come on, baby. Literally, baby. There we go. Hi, Raider. What's up? 
This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Goodbye, head. Yeah, this, uh, this place is, is toast. Not only did we already finish the thing, um, the mission for it, but we got the protector. I didn't mean to kill the protector on, but, you know, these things happen. There does seem to be a button here. I guess that solves that problem. I was like, I was trying to figure out how I was going to jump over here to get here, and, um, I'm glad that I found that button, because it makes it a little easier. Getting some rads, probably from all the, the crap underneath us. Uh, but otherwise, things are looking good. A screwdriver, hot diddly. Uh, don't have anything in there, don't have anything in the bucket. Uh, we have completely scrapped this place. Things are good. Things are really good. Um, especially because after this we'll be heading back to Sanctuary, we can drop all this off. A flask, yes! Rip Jones' favorite. Drop pillow, wow. For anyone who takes the time to get up here, uh, there's quite a bit. Um, and also some cans. So we can meet. All right. Oh, there it is. Nice. So there was a comic up here. Uh, critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do f uh, plus five percent damage. Not c particularly helpful for what we've been doing, um, but still nothing wrong with that. Battered clipboard, desk fan, uh, plastic plate, and of course a terminal, which I'm always curious to learn more about. Setting up shop. Gunfire's finally quieted down. Suppose that means either Lonnie and Gristle wiped up the last of the ghouls, or they're currently serving as someone's meal. But now Lexington is secured, I can finally get to work. Stumped. Nothing is working. The old woman, she used to just huff some jet, pop some pills, then she'd start bab babbling, spouting vision after vision. And they all turned out true. The raiders burning the town, killing the parents, stealing the kids, stealing me. I remember the look in her eyes when she saw my fate. Kid, you're gonna be a monster. All true. If I could get that sort of power, that sight, the Commonwealth, the other gangs, no one would have a prayer. But nothing's working. Maybe I need to try upping the dosages. I'm gonna need another bucket. So, these people all had, you know, seen, uh, Preston and Mama Murphy and all those folks. Subjects. It's not the chems. They're just a trigger for the site. It's me. I'm the problem. Wish I'd realized it before my arms look like pincushions, but at least it's a new lead. I need subjects. Experiments continue. Still no successes, but the rumor of free chems has brought plenty of new recruits. Ranks are clearly back up to where they were before we cleaned out Lexington. Lonnie thinks it's a waste of time since we need to spend our time building up our defenses, but Lonnie doesn't make the decisions I do. She does seem to be enjoying her new position, though. Maybe another dose of Psycho will get her visions firing. So this guy was really obsessed with Mama Murphy and the fact that she had these visions because of the chems. He tried to do it and couldn't do it, so then he is inviting people in with the allure of free chems, to see if, I guess it's possible. She's here. Crystal says there's a caravan headed this way. Some joker in a cowboy hat with a laser musket, three civilians, and one frail old woman dressed like a fortune teller. It's her. I know it's her. I sent Crystal to collect her. I wonder if she'll recognize me. Of course she will. She saw this coming, after all. Spotlight control? No, I think that's it. So we learned a little bit. What the... Where did you come from? And how fast can you say, I'm screwed? You couldn't get the words out. There are more here? Oh, it must... It must trigger them right after you read the terminal. That's the only thing that I can, uh, I can possibly come up with. Because this place was clear, man. This place was done. There was no one else here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab anything that you guys had. Uh, nothing of interest there. Cor Corvega safe key. Safe key? That means that there's probably a safe here. Where? So I pronounce the Corvega auto plant dead. I am a little... It's right there, isn't it? There it is. Bam. Glow-sided heavy pipe bolt action pistol. Lightweight Raider right leg. And a Stealth Boy. Stealth Boy is something that... It's an item that you can use, and your stealth, like, shoots way, way up, so you can get around places sneakily. Um, yeah, I, I think I pronounced this place dead. Uh, as always, if I miss something important, you guys can let me know in the comments, and I can go back and get it. But I think we did it. And uh, if we actually go here... For one, we can just can look at this and see if we missed anything, although I'm pretty sure we didn't. But if we go to our data, we did it. So we just have to report our success to settlers at Oberland. 
which I think we're going to go do right now. Hey guys, guess what? Those raiders aren't going to trouble you anymore. Excuse me, could, could you stand? Please. You find those raiders? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. <laughs> That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. That was nice, but I'm pretty sure that a patch broke subtitles. <laughs> it seems... Yep, it did. It turned them off, and now they're back on. Okay, that would also explain why we couldn't see the subtitles of the guys whenever they're in there. Okay, so that's cool. So you guys are with us now? Sure could use a Mr. Handy. Plenty of work to I just want to trade a few things. No, of course. So this now, I'm assuming, counts as a work... a place that I can... Yep. So now I can enter workshop mode here, which is really cool. Um... So this is just another settlement of ours, which is uh, which is neat. They got food, they got people, they got water. They have no defense. Seems a little problematic. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to handle this information. Like I'm not sure what to do, knowing that we have these people here. Like, should we try to move the people to sanctuary? Can we even do that, or do they have to stay here? I have no idea. Should we scrap all this crap and then just move all the stuff to sanctuary? To be honest, I, I am not sure. Anyway, that's going to be it for uh, this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, between episodes, I'm going to head back to Sanctuary, store a lot of my stuff, see if there's anything I can I can mod or whatnot. And uh, there's still a lot of comments that I wanted to act upon. Um, there's a few of you that had said that you really want to see me go to the robotics disposal dump um, because there is a, a place that you can get a, a fat man. And having a fat man just would be super helpful and we'll probably go grab that next time but for now i gotta say goodbye continue to leave tips and tricks that you think i could use i'll see you guys next time for more Stephen plays fallout 4.